What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. We are the Muses, and Hi. we have a new video for you today. As you can see, we are in our bathroom because we're filming how we do. Well, what do you want to call this? How we do a spirit bath? Yes, right? how we do a spirit bath. A lot of you guys requested this video from the how was it the how we met video? No. Yeah, I think it was the. How we met, yeah. One of our videos. One of our videos. Though. Yes, you guys requested it. It was heavily requested. So we're gonna show you how we energize ourselves and revitalize ourselves with what some people call spirit baths, some people call energy baths, um, some people call uh, revitalization baths. And this is just something if you've been feeling tired or or down or exhausted or just low vibes or just you want to relax or you just want to beautify yourself or uplift your energy or become more creative this is this is the video for you all right so like she said that's pretty much what a spirit bath is it's just you cleansing your body with everything that's going on in the world it's a lot of stuff that's going on and there could be chaos in your life or you just have a lot of negative energy or you just been feeling down and you just want to like she said energize yourself or revitalize like you just want to ground yourself and that's pretty much what a spirit bath is and why you would want to do one there's many 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 different ways that you can do it but we're just going to show you the basics right and you guys know the power and the magic of water right yeah we we, we really really connect with water water is an extremely powerful uh, element and I suggest you use it in your life. And if you can't sit down in a bath, um, you can still use the ingredients and the steps that we're going to show you. And you can just put it in a bowl in your shower and yeah. pour it over your head and let it fall all the way down to your feet. Yeah, no, it's, it's so many different ways you can do it. So many different We got y'all covered. All right. First, first step is this. Make sure you're already clean. I like a clean bathroom. I like a clean body. I take a shower beforehand, before I even run the bath water. And that's just to, because for me, a spiritual bath isn't to cleanse my body. My body's already clean. It's really to cleanse my energy and, mm -hmm. and to just, you know, make you feel good. Yeah, so, you know, it's not, it's not, suggested to take a spare bath while you're dirty so you know wash that dirt off of you all day all that the different people you've come encounter with like wash all that off your body wash it out of your space before you start your spirit bath because it's important it's going to set the tone for your intentions that you're putting in your spirit bath she's right and when you're washing yourself before you even start your bath Visualize all the negativity or any anxiety or confusion that you may be going through in your life. Imagine it or fear anything. Just imagine it draining down into the drain with the dirt, with the with the water that you're showering with. Envision it, speak it, say, you know, energy leaves me, I call my power back to me. Energy leaves me, I call my power back to me. And and you just keep saying this, you're gonna already start to feel better. Yeah. We all true. we should know by now the power of the word. Yep, dirt leave my body. I no longer want you on my body. Okay, also, there are no rules in in, in this stuff, guys. Oh. Nope. You know my biggest thing is the greatest power and the most powerful magic or energy is one that you create, create yourself. yourself. So if you are called or you feel pulled to use a different um, herb or a different oil or extra oils, feel free to do it. Follow your intuition. And this is just the base of like what I would advise if someone would come to me and ask me for advice as far as to how to raise up their vibrations. Yeah, definitely. Okay. You know, just use the materials that you're drawn to, pretty much. Yes. Oh, but make sure you have all five elements. To me, that just means more power. So we already got the water. You want to get something for Earth um, that represents Earth or grounding. So you can put crystals around you. You can use flowers. You can use plants. Um, fire, we love candles. Yes. Um, air, we like incense. The fifth is your spirit. So you come with a good a good heart and a good mind and you just ease in. Make sure it's not too hot. You want to stay in it for no longer than 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure you make sure it's quiet so that you can be in a more meditative state. Yes, try to do this when you know you won't be interrupted. Right, exactly. Okay, so now let's get to the steps. What I like to use is a few essential oils, they definitely have a lot of properties that we can discuss in detail, yeah. but make sure you have a carrier oil. Carrier oils mixes in with your essential oils, but I specifically pay attention to the properties of each for what I want. So if I'm trying to revitalize myself, I will use 
a carrier oil and I think three or four, excuse me, and like three or four essential oils. Yeah. So we're using grapeseed oil. 100%. This is yep. our carrier oil. This oil is good. They call grapeseed oil oil for the gods. Um, it's an anointing oil. It's ancient. It has so many healing properties. And we are definitely, this just feels good to my skin. It does. It's and it's also good for you to cook with too. Yep. So I cook with grapeseed oil, y'all. Okay, so the first essential oil is peppermint. Now, peppermint oil is good for your spirit bath because it helps stimulate your mind and helps you with concentration. So if you, you know, if your if your whole purpose of your spirit bath is to set your intentions, peppermint oil is definitely going to take you up closer to your higher self. Yes. Now, be very careful with peppermint oil. Um, if you use too much of it, you're Ooh, your butthole mm. and your and your private Ooh, gonna be a little tingle, gonna be past gonna be the real tingle, tingle yeah. and it's not good. Mm -hmm. So we only put like five to seven drops in a full tub of water. So yes. keep in mind you want a small ratio of peppermint oil. Okay? Yes, y'all. Make sure y'all count. Even if y'all using eucalyptus oils like that, y'all, y'all gotta be careful. Very careful. Gotta watch that boom boom. You don't want it to be on fire fire. Yes. The second essential oil is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is one of my personal favorites. It's, well, not even before we get to the spiritual properties of it. It's antibacterial, it's antifungal, yep. and I just love the smell of it. So the properties that's beneficial with tea tree oil is purification and protection, y'all. You need that in your spirit bath because you need to protect your space for all the intentions that you're setting for your spirit bath. You gotta make sure you weed out all that negative energy of them other spirits that might be trying to come up in that bath with you and you know, tapping your shoulder and playing your water with you. Yeah, they will, <laughs> they will try to laugh My on. My <laughs> and, and also keep in mind, this isn't necessarily particular pertaining to one particular practice or religion. Yeah. You can pray in this, in this bath, you can meditate in this bath, you can chant in this bath, you can do whatever to, Want. You can masturbate, you can do what you want to do. Whatever you do to call your power back, please do it. The last and my personal favorite is lavender oil. Lavender. We all know the lavender is relaxing, it's calming, it's peaceful, it brings more peace into your life. And I use I, I use about 30 to 33 drops of lavender oil and also 30 to 33 drops, drops of, of the tea, tea tree. tree. Yeah. Don't ask me why 33, I just love that number. You can use herbs. I like using, again, lavender herbs. And we have our pink Himalayan salts, y'all. Y'all know we gotta have the salt. The salt is just, uh, it's just. I think it's just really soothing for your body. It just helps. I feel like it grounds you even more when you put this in your spirit bath because it's like you feel the salts just soaking into your body and it's just really putting you where you want to be when you're meditating when you're trying to do your spirit baths y'all absolutely it removes toxins it pulls the toxins up out of you both naturally and spiritually so we are going to use this whole amount in a tub that's right and our last ingredient is of course this makes it beautiful. This is to adorn yourself. Y'all, everyone loves and has trained us mostly or mainly. Does it smell good? Mm. These are these are rose petals in case you can't see. I don't know what it smells like, <laughs> but I'm sure it smells good. It smells like you, boo. <laughs> no. I always say I adorn myself. I love me, okay? And you should love you. And even if you're trying to get to love yourself more or call love into your life from friends, family, uh, just all around, lovers, anything, Adorn yourself first. You can't give from an empty cup. This is self-care. If you're going to give flowers to someone you love or your mom for Mother's Day or whoever, why not give it to yourself? Right. Adorn yourself. You know, lay, lay, in your, lay in your tub and just, you know, throw them all on you and just start flicking them everywhere. I mean, love it on yourself. You Absolutely. Know, you got to. It's important. Oh, it so good. Okay, here comes the fun part. We get this done. We get to put it all in the bath, y'all. For me, I do salt first, and then I do my oils, and then I do my herbs, and then I do my flowers. It's not a rule, it's just my particular way. Yeah, like we said, this is your own creation. So whichever direction you feel led to start with first, do that. That is your higher self, that is you, that is your intuition speaking to you, telling you, 
this is the way to do it. Yes, so. and thank your body. Yeah. Thank it. Thank your body for for keeping you alive, for giving you strength, for letting you move and walk. And I, I mean, I sit there and I give thanks to my entire body, from my brain to my toes, yes, to my feet. Yeah. Make your thank your body for making you feel good. Absolutely. Thank the, you know, shake the titties in the mirror. Say thank you. Yes. Tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am love. I am strong. I am energy. I am peace. And watch what happens in your life. Hey, if y'all do this, I believe in you. When you do this, yeah. comment down below on how it made you feel. Yeah. And I, I'm, I really, I really can't wait to hear hear the reviews of this. Definitely. So, so let's let's get started. Add this to our bath now, y'all. Got that salt, our carrier oil, y'all. The lavender. Guys, isn't this so cute? It's a Frida Kahlo matchbox that we got from Tulum, Mexico for my birthday. I think it's so beautiful. I love Frida Kahlo. Also, we do not use lighters. We like to stay as natural and and as possible. So for fire, we just like to use good old matches. That's right, y'all. So let's light some of these candles and get this stuff going. So now we got most of our ingredients in there. I like to save the flowers for last. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about what alchemy is. To me, alchemy means transformation, transmutation. In ancient times, alchemy was originally the first study of the Egyptians and Sumerians, and it was the gift of basically turning metals or metals into gold basically turning things into gold. And there are masters of alchemy or what we call alchemists who really do that in real life. And I like to take that on in my spirit as well. You can transmutate and transform any part of you or any area in your, in your life as long as you envision it. And that's the power of alchemy. Though. It is. It's the power of alchemy. Say, for example, you're feeling just down, low vibe, low vibes. It's retrograde right now mercury's in retrograde and sometimes you may feel a little off balance or just need some peace in your life transmute what you're currently feeling into the the feeling or the energy that you want to call into your life or the feeling or the energy that you desire with that in mind we have a huge announcement well the surprise is that we are actually adorning this spirit bath with our own candles handmade y'all these are our alchemy candles i don't know if y'all can really see that but yes y'all these yes. are our alchemy candles that we will be dropping for pre-sale soon they're handmade we yep. specifically chose black and gold um all colors derived from black so don't feel like oh i have to have a certain color and this that and the third some people do um i do in certain cases but like i said you have the power to change your life you have the power to transmute your life and everything within balance so white is for anything and black on the outside i like to think of it as protection yes um alchemy you make this candle what you want it to be even if you write on the back of it what you want it to be yep. these candles are hand poured they're handmade here, right here in our home. Yep. Um, every ingredient is organic. And we even put our own essential oils in it. So the oils that are in our candle is jasmine and sandalwood. Y'all, it smells so good. And all the oils and everything that we put inside of our candles is intentional. It's for you. This is an alchemy candle. Yes. This is This has the muse power inside of it, which is why we want to gift it to you. And yeah, our pre-sale will start this month. We don't have a pre-sale date yet, but stay tuned because we will let you know when we do start the pre-sale, but yeah. Yeah, these are these are candles. Listen, we've been working on these for a year. Yeah. These, these have been our secret project as a family for years. Well, actually not for years, for a year. We had the idea two years ago. We started 
working. Anyway, we kept trying it over and over and over until we got it completely right. I wanted it to smell great as it burned. I wanted it to feel what I wanted it to feel like. Me and Aaliyah designed the candles, the labels, and Asia specifically is a little genius, my oldest daughter. She did the formulas, she studies, she hand pours it, she cooks the wax. The girl is brilliant, Aaliyah's brilliant. <clears throat> so support our family business, buy you a candle from us, get on the pre-sale because once these get on TikTok, I don't know how many we'll have left. Right, so we're gonna add our alchemy candles to our spirit bath. Alright, so the adornments. Mm -hmm. Rose petals with a dozen roses. Mm -hmm. Such a smile. Mm -hmm. The joy of children happy. Beautiful. And something else that we like to do as well that I think is important, once you have everything that you want inside of your spirit bath, I think you should mix everything together and speak your intentions of what your spirit bath is going to be for you. Go ahead and put that healing in here. Put that wealth in there. Put that release in there. Cleanse your spiritual space. Just put all of your intentions into this water as you mix everything around. Speak to your ancestors. Tell them to help ground you as you bring back the power into your life. The balance. Alright guys. Yep, that's the basic things that you can do for your own spirit bath. Remember, the greatest creation is things that you create for yourself, your own power. Do what feels good to you. Don't forget, comment down below. Let us know how you feel about this video. If you want to see more videos like this, if you already into spirit baths, like, you know, what kind of spirit baths you do. If you feel like sharing, if not, it's fine. But I just want to know. So thank you so much for watching. Keep watching our videos. We just dropped a vlog the other day. So make sure y'all watch that and stay tuned for more videos to come, y'all. Yes, and be sure to look out for the pre-sale drop of the Alchemy Candles. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Um, it will be soon, I would say within the next week. So stay tuned and thanks so much for supporting our channel. We yes, love you guys. Thank you, you soon. to all of our subscribers. We love y'all. Oh, this thing got my glasses. Mm -hmm. Going up. Come on.